Okay, so what do we have here? Okay, zoo hair. So I'm guessing, can we like compare these two? Hmm. That's a big no. Hmm. Interesting, okay. What about this? What is this receipt? Want to see, no, um. Hair for Marguerite. Definitely, it's gray. yeah, it's gray. But I guess the question is, can we type it to see if it's like the same breed of wolf, even if it's not the same color? This is weird. There's some carbon on the back. Yeah. I can't make out what it says. There's some carbon. Yeah, it's on strange. The back. It looks like I it's can't going make backwards. Out what it says. Hmm. How would we look at it backwards? Um, there's something going on at the police station. Hmm. Maybe we could like look at it in the reflection of the water. Okay, we could try that. That's not a bad idea. I'm trying to remember if there was. Oh, there was uh, a mirror at the 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 farmhouse, but. Let's go here first. Because so far the, the the fountain was a distinct location, so maybe that's what it's trying to tell us. So we'll go there first. Come on, Gabriel, you're killing me here. Come on, buddy. And okay. Okay, so can we use this here? Really? Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we can we can try. Um. There we go. Oh, okay. So we can actually just enter the subway from this side. That is at least nice. So maybe we try going back to the farm. That's the only place that I remember seeing another reflection. So I guess that's our best bet. That's the only other lead we have, I think. So we have the matching fur, we have the paw print, but we didn't get a paw print from the, the wolf at the zoo, Marguerite. But I guess it doesn't really matter. It's more of like a size thing. Yeah, there was a mirror in here, wasn't there? Yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah, hell yes. Solving mysteries. Kona glitch. Oh my god, what are these shots? <laughs> oh, what is that, an address? Ooh, do we have a new location to visit? Well, at the very least, we should definitely save. Uh, new save. Ooh, what do we want? Um, uh, loaded up with fur. Perfect. Oh, we didn't save it. Loaded up with fur. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I have no idea if this game has like a lot of death scenes. A lot of the, especially the Sierra Adventure games back in the day were notorious for having multiple ways in which you could perish, often hilariously. Okay, so maybe if we click on this, now there's a new location we can go to? Does it sound like that was an address? Okay, what do we got? Oh my god, I, I still can't believe all these scenes exist. Um, hmm. No. Hmm. I guess it, maybe we can check out the, maybe this is like the catch all for, there's a location that you found, you should go there. Uh, Cause there's a lot of stores around here. Uh, I guess we can start off by going over here. What was it, the, the butcher here, right? I don't think she speaks much English. Um, what does this say now? The Kona Glitch Bay Rich Hathjad Lodge, 54 Dina Strauss. Dina Strauss, okay, so I guess let's look for Maybe a street? Dina Strauss. That's definitely not Dina Strauss. Hmm. Is it? Oh, 54 Dina Strauss. 
cuckoo clocks. Hmm. No, not here. So, this seems like the the entire street is this this one area. So, where would we go for Dina Strauss? I didn't see it on the map, but now that he said it a little more clearly, maybe we can see it. That's me. Yes, it is, Gabriel. Yes, it is. Hmm. Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. I don't understand. The way he says Kant is disconcerting. <laughs> Someone should maybe, I guess, you know, it's Europe, so maybe it's not that big a deal, but make sure he keeps that pronunciation on this side of the Atlantic. Huh. Huh. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the map. Maybe we can actually see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Where, oh, where did this go? I'm trying to see. Um, don't want the hint if we don't need it. I'm not seeing it here. Maybe, hmm. What was the intersection on the, the left side of the street here? Dun, dun. Oh, we're on this side? Oh, God. Hmm. Maybe we can, maybe now we can talk to our lawyer? Because he's one of the few people who we can talk to. Or maybe we can ask for directions. Maybe he can be like, hey, have you, uh, like we can show him this. Yeah, maybe that's what we can do. I'm assuming because, you know, there's no other person that we can communicate with. Oh, can we, can we chat Damn. with you? Always in a hurry. Ah. Oh. Like one of the few people we can actually even like interact with. Okay, and what is this in here? No. Okay. Grau, Hoffman, and Schnell. Yep. My family lawyers. Okay, that we got. So I guess let's go through. Hmm. Oh, hey, long time no see, buddy. This time I actually have some things that I maybe wanted to ask you about. Ah, oh, nice. Have a seat, please. All right. How are you? Do we have anything we can talk to him about? No, but can we ask him about this? I'm not sure why I'd want to show him that. Uh, the address might be helpful. Um, can we ask him about the 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 paw, or maybe ask him about the fur? He might know someone who can help me out. I'll have to ask him about it. Wait, what do you mean? I I want to talk to him about it. What about this? He might know someone who can help me out. What? I'll have to ask him about it. Okay, but how? Oh, we just have to click on him. Oh. Oh, that makes more sense. All right, let's ask him about himself. I, suppose I thought we were already in the conversation happy. window. I'm sorry? Uber Grau, Hoffman, and Schnell. Ah, uh, actually, no. Um, this is my grandfather's firm. Oh, okay. I'm just a junior partner. Okay. And I, my assignment to your family was no insult. I was chosen because of my English. Um, I took my law training at Harvard, you see. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hell, son. Very beneficial I to an English a client. I partner or a mail clerk. I'm just glad somebody's taking care of the paperwork. Yeah. Um, you know, the firm has the utmost respect for the Ritters. I will do everything possible in your behalf. Okay. Appreciate it. So I guess maybe Ritter is like his ancient family name? Uh, well, tell me about the city of Munich. Is there anything special I should know about Munich? No, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, you've picked up a little German, haven't you? You've been here, um, but, um, almost a year. A little bit, a little bit. Uh, no, I, I, I mean, I have been here that long. I, but my faculty for languages leaves some. Oh, it's it's a classic American. It's that Most Germans speak a little English. But puts no effort into learning another language. You can always bring it to me. Go somewhere. Everyone should be speaking American. Your letter mentioned that the title transfer for the Ritter estate went through. Okay. Uh, yes, we had a bit of a task proving that you were a legitimate blood heir, but um, oh. that's all settled now. So yeah, we're an ancient Ritter, I guess. Tell you, we were beginning to get quite worried about the Ritter Holdings. Oh. Well, we've had a policy, my grandfather really, of um, 
waiving our fees for important old accounts, but okay. unfortunately the government is not so generous. It was quite a miracle when you appeared, Mr. Knight. Oh, I guess that's right, beneficial to everyone. Good. Okay, um, okay, well, I don't know why he would know about any of this stuff, but we can ask him, I guess. Do you know anything about the... I guess it's probably killing? just in the news, so it's the probably... Killings? Well, no, I... Oh my god, Hanite, is, is that what you're researching here in Munich? Yeah, adjacent. Ask, <sighs> really? Well, that's above and beyond the Call of Duty. Not at all. That I is very nice. Fiction. Philip Marlowe, all that. The uh, Voodoo Murders. That oh, yes. Real case, was it not? Loosely. So you know nothing about the mutilation hmm. killings? Well, only that those missing Zoolwolves have attacked and partially eaten people out in the country. Partially eating is very strange. Case, I, I would be happy to assist. It's rather exciting, isn't it? I mean, you don't plan on getting too um, close to the actual wolves, I hope. Ooh. I'd rather not. Prefer to stay away if we can. Thanks for your offer. I may take you up on that. Okay, so I guess now that we can ask him about the samples, because we have the two. Do you know anyone with a background in animal biology? Animal biology? Uh, for your research? Right. Hmm, let me think. Um, I have one client who's a professor at the university. Okay. Maybe that would be great. Have... So are we going to get a new sure. location then? Can we go to the university? Yeah, Herr Dr. Speiger. Hey, thanks, buddy. Oh, again, we have to watch this whole thing play out. This is amazing. Oh, my God. The commitment to showing every unflinching moment. Yeah. Yeah. So a scene also where there's no subtitles and he's speaking German. Auf Wiederhören. So, Kurt, there is a lab at the University Biology Department. Great. They may be able to help you there. Hey, thanks, buddy. Dr. Speigel sent you. Sounds great. Thanks. It's wild. These scenes basically have no editing. It's interesting. Like, it's such a, a distinct stylistic choice because you have to know they obviously had the option to do it because it would also cut down on the amount of video that they had to, like, put on a disc. All right, well, let's ask about this. This is, I'm assuming, from the receipt. What is a jag shin, jag shine? Does that make sense? I love that he's, like, yeah. enjoying watching yeah. Gabriel yeah. struggle. Uh, it is a permit for killing animals, you know, a sport. Oh. You mean hunting? It's a hunting license? Yes, hunting license. Hmm. That's curious. What would a zoo official want with a hunting yeah. license? Yeah. Very peculiar. Yeah, you think someone who worked in a zoo would be, I don't know, opposed, but he seems really weird. Honestly, I imagine that zookeeper guy hunts people in his spare time. Have you ever heard of the Koniglich Bay Rich Hofjad Lodge? Königlich Bayerische Hofjagdloge. Okay. No, sounds like a men's sport club. What does the name translate to exactly? Oh, the Royal Bavarian Hunting Lodge, more or less. Okay. A hunting lodge, huh? Hmm. That connects with well, the the hunting license. Okay. So nothing else. I don't have anything else to say. Okay. Cool. Cool. So we got a whole bunch of stuff from him, including help from a friend at the university to help us analyze the fur samples. Uh, can we just go? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Let's get out of here. Guess I better get going. Hmm. Well, enjoy your stay. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Already been a big help. Yeah, I 100% believe that zookeeper guy captures and hunts human beings in his spare time. You know, he wants to feel more, you know, kinship with the animals. And by that, he wants to, you know, get blood on his hands. <laughs> okay, so we can... Ah! The biology lab. Okay, so we do get new locations as it goes. I wonder if we'll get all of these. All right, well, let's go. See what we got going on over here. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is great. Hey! 
I speak English. Oh my god, this is great. What is this audio mix? Yes, my name is Michael. I will do the work for you whenever you're ready. Excellent. Uh, Nicholas, that is a good question. I speak a very little bit of French. Uh, being uh, Canadian, we are a bilingual country, so pretty much everyone learns a bit of French growing up. So I know like like very little conversational French. Like if I'm if you know if I'm in Quebec, which right now there's no reason to travel anywhere, but if I'm somewhere where people are speaking French, I can like kind of get on with it. I, I forget a lot of it, so it's it's very rusty, but I, I do uh, speak a little bit. I would actually love to to fully like relearn French because obviously you know in school you learn it and it's kind of like a day to day thing, but I need to show them what I've got. Okay, so I guess let's start with the paw print. Could you look at a paw print for me? Sure. Okay. God, this is heavy. What is this, cement? Uh, yeah, it's all basically. Out of Paris. Yeah. <laughs> give it. Give us the lowdown on this big old pop. Then. God, again, it's amazing that they're showing this whole thing play out where he pulls out the book. He looks through the book. Oh, now he's annotating. Where? Yeah. What did he see? Wood. Really? Can you tell what species? It is impossible to tell from a print. Uh, hmm. Except. Well, wouldn't you be able to except? at least tell like what size it might be? Like it's general weight, maybe height. Yeah, I thought so. It's very big for a wolf. Okay. Very big. Looks like uh, maybe 68, 70 kilograms. Ooh. That's big for a wolf. This is huge. That's Most a big pup. They look, the hair is thicker, which makes them look bigger. But that's 70 kilograms. Book, Jeez. Don't get so big. How big does Canis lupus lupus get? On average, uh, 38 to 40 kilograms. Uh, North American wolf, 35 kilograms. Okay. Uh, only the Alaskan timber wolf maybe gets so big, but even for that species, 70 kilograms. That's a big pupper. Very interesting. Very interesting Thanks. indeed. Okay, so we also have the fur samples as well. So I'm assuming, let's do let's do the zoo hair first. Could you analyze this hair? God, this conversation is amazing. Let's see. It's amazing the way they put this together. Like, they're so impressed with the fact that they shot the video in one take. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd tell me. Probably I can. It's canine, I think. Hmm. Gray. The tips are lighter, which indicates something with a thick undercoat. Hmm? Can you identify the species? Let me see. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> what is Gabriel doing in this lab? There's hardly anyone who looks more out of place here with his giant ass coat. Hmm. It's not dog hair. Okay, obvious. It looks more like wolf. Okay, so uh -huh. that we know we took it from the wolf. But I guess we're more like uh -huh. confirming. Here it is. Canis lupus lupus, European wolf. Okay. So we're just making sure this guy knows his stuff. No problem. So he, he was able to identify the fur as correctly of the species in the zoo. So then what about the farm hair? What the hell is this? Could you look at this hair sample now? Yeah. Let's put the other piece of the puzzle in. Hmm. No moment spared. Again, I imagine it was like a really big feat at the time that they were able to produce uh, a video like this, this in a game. No, it is not. It is. Okay. No, uh, very different. Hmm. Maybe wolf, though. Maybe. Same as the other, but not the same species. Not the same hmm. species, are you sure? Let me see. That's interesting. What kind of wolf? Oh. Much it's smoother. Definitely not Canis lupus lupus. It doesn't match any hmm. of the other wolf species in the book either. Oh. It's not. Dog so it's hair. not the ones so? escaped from the zoo. What is it? And it's not dog it hair. Could be um, how do you say uh, mix up? Oh, a, a hybrid. Up. You mean a hybrid? Yeah. A hybrid. 
Oh, is that when the wolf and the dog? Uh, oh, God. Yeah. oh my right. God. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, could be a hybrid, maybe. Wolf, dog, mm. uh, two wolf species, a wolf and something mm. else. Interesting. Otherwise, wolf and I'm a dog. Sure. It's more wolf than dog, but it doesn't match any species in the book, you see? That's very strange. I see. Thanks. So maybe a, a wolf a mated with a very big dog. Made that paw print. Mm, sure. The hybrid might be bigger than the wolf. I mean, there are if some the big dogs. Big, a very big dog. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, okay. You see, the paw print looks like a wolf, but that doesn't mean that the whole animal looks like a wolf. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh, do we have anything else that we can show him? No keys. None of this is really useful. Can we just talk with him? I don't know what else to show him. Hmm. Okay, maybe we'll get more information later, but that's interesting. So, it could be a hybrid. It could... Maybe not be, as the, the townspeople suspect, a werewolf. I have to go. Oh, wait a minute. Um, oh. I should give you a report to take with you. Yeah. Oh, okay. It summarizes my impressions of the two hey. samples. Hey, this guy is a professional. And the paw print, yeah? Do you know what? Gotta give it to the Germans. Great. Very efficient it. people. All right, see you later, dude. I'm sure we'll be back. Yep, it's a location that's still there. Okay, so now that we have that, what the hell do we want to go to? Um, Can we maybe go to the police station? No point in going back in there at the moment. Mm. I can't even try to talk my hmm. way in. Okay. I don't know why we would want to go to the zoo. Hmm. Maybe we can find something. We Maybe we can see something in the, uh, the outside of the, the farmhouse. Hmm. Interesting. How about yourself, Nicholas? Uh, what languages can you speak? Obviously, besides uh, English. I feel like that's one of the, the, the cool cultural benefits of Europe, is that generally most people speak at least two languages, oftentimes more, depending on where they neighbor. Like, you know, a country like Switzerland, oftentimes you're learning, like, German, Italian, French... Maybe even another one in there, like English. It's a water trough. Hmm. Same goes for like places like, you know, France, Spain, Italy. Oftentimes there, there's at least one or two other languages where you just kind of learn it. Okay, so this is where we found the, the, the fur, but nothing new here. So maybe we do have to go back to like the, the main street. Oh, very cool, very cool. English, Polish, and Swedish. Yeah, a whole bunch of my relatives are uh, Ukrainian, but unfortunately, I never learned a lick of it. Hmm. All right, well, I guess let's go back. Got the, we got the lab report from him. Okay, so I guess let's go back to uh, Marion Platz. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess this is supposed to be like main plaza or something like that, maybe just plaza. Okay, well, we got that, so I feel like that's a good time to save. Lab boy got our backs. Excellent. Okay, so I guess maybe we're looking for a hunting club? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where we would find that. Maybe we can take a look in these stores now. Cuckoo clocks. Hmm. Maybe later. Okay. What do we have in our inventory? We have the analysis. We have his receipt. So we're looking for, I guess, maybe the hunting lodge he's a part of. The splice tape. He's Gabriel to Grace envelope. Oh, right. We wrote a letter to her as well. Um... I've already got a watch. Thank send you. that while we're here. Is there a mailbox? Hmm. Okay. What's over here? This is our view up, right? Yeah, it's us looking at the the statue and the the uh, Glockenspiel. That hmm. must be the famous Munich Glockenspiel. Interesting. You know, one interesting thing, Isaac, I'm not sure what language uh, Swedish is most closely related to. Like, if, if you were to have one language, you know, in your back pocket, 
that you already knew that would help you learn Swedish faster, what would that be? Oh, what's over here? Another store? Okay. Lots of Nietzsche and Kant. Ah, uh, you can't say it like that, dude. It's not cool. All right, anything over here? Nope, this is just heading over to the fountain, right? Yeah. Oh, is this another? Oh, nope, not another alleyway. Hey, Sammy. How are you doing today? English, you'd say English is, is the, the, the language that helps most? Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is, wait, this is the street. From the, oh, there's a whole other street here. Oh my god. Okay, so this is definitely the, the one from the, the note, so it's gotta be around here somewhere, right? Um. I'd give it a shot, but I don't speak the language. Yeah, no, don't, don't be a, an American creeper. So I guess we can just, yeah, this is D Dentistras. Hmm. Oh, interesting. So I guess, yeah, if you learn German and English beforehand, maybe Swedish is a real breeze. I guess comparatively. Even their trash cans are clean in this city. Hmm. Anything around here? Oh, this is it. Ah, this is the address. This is the hunting lodge. Oh, I'm doing very well today. I hope the same is true for you, Sammy. Hope your week has started off well. Okay. Yes, this is the, the hunting lodge that I 100% believe hunts people. Entschuldige Sie bitte, aber das ist ein privater Club. Ah. Uh, um, we get. Oh God, you have mistakenly entered a private establishment. No, 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 this is no. This Kona Glitch Bay Ridge Hofter Lodge, in it? Yes, it is. Okay. Do you have business here? Uh, uh, yes, yes. The answer is definitive. Yes. Uh, do you know Herr Doctor Klingman? Do you know Herr Doctor Klingman? Yeah, we're just having a little chat about the the languages we know. I do or do not know. This is a confidential establishment. Mainly because our good friend uh, Gabriel Knight here doesn't know a single language besides American, and I mean that very pejoratively. <laughs> You wouldn't be in the market for a taxidermist, would you? Yeah. No. Hey, uh, how about uh, a writer or researcher? Uh, French is French is a, a fun language. That's one that I again know kind of conversationally. I'm uh, uh, je parle un petit français. Just I speak a little French. My name is Gabriel Knight. I'm an avid hunter. Yeah. I was given your name by a friend. Really. Um, <laughs> dude, that's not a good bluff. the boys back home, we're always out shooting them pesky animals. Oh yeah. I thought play, I play up the uh, the, the Southern American. Huh. Well, that warms my heart, but I'm afraid you were misled. This is a very exclusive club. Oh. We only accept members of very prominent German families. Well, we are. We're we're uh, a Ritter. Okay. Um, I am a member of a prominent German family. You uh, mentioned the terms of your membership. Yeah. I am a member of a prominent German family. See? Oh, and what family might that be? I mean, that's very exclusionary. My grandfather was one of the Ritters of Rittersburg. Ritter, I've heard of the name. Can you prove you're a direct descendant? You're not going to just take my word for it? No. <laughs> Do you have proof? Okay, so I'm going to guess we're going to have to go talk to our lawyer. Uh, or do we have it on us? Hold on, do we have business card, Gabriel's notepad? I thought we had something about that. Maybe I'm misremembering. We have the talisman? Maybe it's the talisman? Hmm. Ah, uh, what is where we got something? Maybe this is it. We show him that? This guy wouldn't know anything about the talisman. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, oh, we have the dagger. Yeah, the Ritter Dagger, that's it. That wouldn't impress this guy. Oh, come on. Hmm. That's all the time I'll waste on you oh, geez. tonight. Goodbye. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to Goodbye. go back to the lawyer. Bye. Jeez. Man. This guy is just basically the, the front concierge of the, the hunting club. 
that we're trying to get into because that's where the even their trash cans are clean in this the city. head doctor from the the zoo has a hunting license which again is very strange for a zoo I guess or maybe say just professional zoologist what's this wait oh it's a post office hold on we can we should I mail oh oh we can mail it from here I guess yeah Gabriel to grace okay Oh, interesting. So, are we going to co correspond with Grace letter to Gracie. over the course of the game? Oh, interesting. Okay. God, why does he always look so suspicious every time he's like just looking around? Okay. Again, we need to see every minute of his activity. What are you talking about? Why are we deprived the the shots of him going in there? You know. Talking to someone, buying a stamp, licking the stamp, putting it in the, the mail slot. I feel like we got robbed there. Okay, so I guess we mailed that off. Uh, oh, no, I did not want to do. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's fine. I want to be in this number when the saints go marching. Which is actually kind of interesting because isn't Gabriel Knight from New Orleans? Okay, well, we want to go back here. When the saints, oh, when the saints. <laughs> oh, Gabriel, get your strut on. Yep, look at him go. Yeah, this guy, oh, that's a good connection, Sammy. This guy's definitely me giving me like, yeah, like Saturday Night Fever era John Travolta. Totally, that's a really good comparison. Germans. Oh, that's that's good. I was like, why? Well, yeah, this guy reminds me of someone. All right, so I guess we have to go talk to our lawyer and maybe get some proof that we belong to the Ritter family. The way this guy's also always brushing his hair too. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum, ah, bum, bum, have a seat, please. Man, I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head all day. Boy. All right, let's see if we can't get uh, a little evidence. Ah, perfect. Ritter family papers. Would you say the Ritter family tree is respectable? Absolutely. The Ritters can trace Germanic roots back a thousand Oh, I cannot sing. You do not want that. You don't know the no, monkey paw wish you're making, Sammy. Yes, we had to supply a family tree for the title transfer. Would you like a copy? Please. Please. Frau Hogel. Können Sie mir bitte eine Kopie von dem Familienstammbaum der Ritters für Herrn Neid machen? Aha. Schönen Dank. Great. Danke, Shane. Thanks. Bitte schön, Herr Neid. Oh, she seems into Gabriel. It's those luscious locks. They're beguiling, bewitching. Okay, so I guess that's all we need, right? Well... I guess I'd better get going. One one well, fun thing hey, enjoy your stay. with uh, Sierra games or adventure games at the time here is that they would all often have like a score. Yeah, I mean, he's handsome. Like he's not un unattractive. I, I can't tell, you know, for the time period if he's well dressed or not or shabby. It's very hard to tell. But these games often have like a score system to kind of give, I guess, maybe give you a general sense of your progress. But it's just funny, because that's like a trapping that's totally gone now. Like, you never see score in adventure games. Yeah, buddy, play us on. So, okay, yeah, there's a whole other street. I wonder if there's other streets around here that we didn't notice. Okay, so this is the hunting lodge. Great. Now we got our papers. Hey, buddy, we're back. Now put some respect on this name. We might be a goofus, but we're a Ritter, goddammit. What is it now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I tell you, I'm a Ritter of Rittersburg. I tell you, I am a Ritter of Rittersburg. And I tell you, I need proof. Okay. 
So can we can we just give it to him now? Aha, excellent. Put some respect on us now. Here you go. Oh, he's not going to be happy about this, is he? I see. Well, I must congratulate you. I had no idea. Oh. Your family. I am very not into. In yes. Oh, yes. Why, yes. Illustrious. Yes, we do. Yeah. I'm sorry if Can't I you tell from the hair? For an American, an American of your type, well, I... I think he means idiot. Lineage, think nothing of You're it, such sir. an idiot. I'm so surprised you're when? part of this prestigious family line. When do we get started? It's Xavier, sir. And I'm afraid we don't... Xavier? As in... Having oh, Xavier. is only the beginning. You oh. must still be invited to join by a current member. Wait, we need wait to be minute. invited as you well? You oh, wait, page, who is this guy? I don't appreciate being strong. With these also the luscious locks. Might I interrupt? Ooh. I couldn't help but over here. Ooh. Sarah, oh, I, I sense some right. romantic tension here. Now that's a tall, dark, and handsome stranger. You are a member. He of recognizes the, the hair game. Of Rittersburg, Bavaria? Yes. What used to be Bavaria anyway? Well, it will always be Bavaria to us. Might I see those papers? You know they use tail and mane. Oh yeah. Respect that hair. Well, you must tell me all about how you ended up in America, Harita. You know. And about your hunting there. Mm-hmm. You are a hunter, are you not? Uh, yep, yeah. mm, no, yep. No. Love, love, love the, the hunting. And yeah, I hunt. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Clues. Gabriel Knight. Gabriel. God, that is a great name. Gabriel Knight. Join us. My name is Von Glover. Von Glover. Baron Friedrich Von Glover. But Ooh. Baron. Her knight is right. We mustn't be so stuffy. I'm formally inviting him. Come. Excellent. Meet my friends. Oh, yeah. Come, have a drink. Chin up, Saver. That's a good man. Do you think these two guys now just have like competitions where like they brush a comb through their hair and see how many different uh, spokes they break off? Ooh, it all feels very clandestine. Very secretive. Gentlemen, I'd like you to meet Her Knight. Her Knight is a hunting enthusiast from America. Yeah. He will be joining this us is for a bad a while crew. As my guest. It will give us a chance to. Stimulate our language. Okay, I, I ship these two. Our brains as well, no? Oh, Gabriel is not stimulating your brains. Don't Her give him that credit. This is Baron Ponce. How Dr. Klingman? Uh huh. We've met. Yes, we How have. We small world, hey, Doc? <laughs> Very small. The distinguished gentleman at the bar is Herr von Eigner. A pleasure, Herr Knight. Next to him. Oh, these guys Herr all Hanneman. eat human beings. You can no. just tell. English or Hanneman? We want to be hospitable. A Hanneman is a politician, and they always oh. try to get away with things. You must be firm. Don't forget about me. And this is our Who's this prize. gentleman? He's wearing like four shirts. By far, it's the best as a group. Ooh. Man, this is a good setup. Very interesting. These are some all uh, suspicious individuals. But no reason to distrust anyone yet. Well, it's nice to meet <laughs> Other than the fact that they're all giving us icy cold out. stares. <laughs> that sounds so physical. Right now, the more relaxing activities, like drinking beer, right? Now. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I can't idea. blame you there. Shall we? Pour her night some beer, Hanneman. Or perhaps you would care for wine instead. Oh no, go with the beer, come on. And he drinks Ooh, beer that's a good call, wine. Nicholas. Maybe this is a whole group of werewolves. Maybe that's like the real secret of their hunting lodge. Tut mir leid, into a Herr Baron. Aber ich muss leiden gehen. You may go if you wish, Gar. Man. These are some looks. I should leave too, Baron. I have work. All right, see you later, Colonel Mustard. So do we all get like our own Stein? Like, what's the deal here? Yeah. <laughs> well, you have your vices, and I have mine. Ooh. I'm afraid to say so, gentlemen, but 
I have an appointment in a few minutes. Oh, do you? Baron, my lord and master, good night to you. Lord and master. I am intrigued. What's your shampoo? How often do you condition? Oh, I have so many questions about that hair. I must apologize for a night. Apparently, this is not the best evening for a new arrival. You've been very kind. I'm kind of tuckered out myself, actually. Aww. Perhaps I could uh, come by tomorrow. Oh, please do. We normally meet here in the evening, but you may come here anytime. Uh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Tengil. Tengil? Tengil? Take my card. Okay. It has my home address. If you care to chat. Oh, yeah. This guy's putting the moves on Gabriel. Good night. Here, here's my private estate. Good night. Come visit uh, any time. Oh, yeah. This guy wants to uh, swap hair secrets, if you know what I mean. Yep. I'm the, uh, yeah. I ship it. I ship it. Their hair game is so strong. Okay. Chapter 2.